guys. Yep. Listen to people. I bought a little tank for Skinny Pete. Um, I know it's only tiny, but my theory is keeps the food near him. Um, and as soon as he starts putting the weight on, then obviously he go back in with the others. Also today, um, as you can see, they've made a mess of the floating watercress. Um, that normally tells me that it's, it's so overgrown, they're getting stuck in the, all the food in there. So that'll get trimmed back today as well, before I do a little water change. Cheers guys. Again, I've just set it up as a drip in, drip out system, straight from the filter, the main filter. I'm um, just filling it up. And I'll put them in. I'm going to put some watercress in this time because um, obviously water plants have got some infusoria all over them so you can pick them off at will hopefully that'll help him as well but I've got loads of vinegar eels still um, which are the smallest micro worm so it would be fed on just that because um, they're small enough and being in a small tank they're not going to be far away from him and nothing else is going to eat them there he is in his temporary home. Right, better put some vinegar eels in there with him. Try and power feed him. It's a floating watercress basket all trimmed back. Trimmed back the back of the river. Fed, fed you feel a little bit as well. And this is what I'm left with. Is that a big tub full of water, Chris? Obviously, that all goes in the compost bin. Full of nitrate. Perfect. Cheers, guys.